Welcome to DowerChin.com. Today we're going to take a look at another product from StarTech. This is actually a laptop docking station from StarTech. Uh, and what makes this one kind of special is it's well, obviously it's a three port USB 3 hub uh, in, in conjunction with the ability to do dual video output uh, through a um, HDMI port as well as a display port. Now supposedly it can do four, it can do 4K output, but sadly I don't have a 4K monitor to really try it on. Uh, but uh, the nice thing about this is that this was single single device can basically for my Surface Pro 3 for example um, have everything I'm looking for Ethernet um, dual dual displays uh, and a USB 3 hub uh, so all in one so I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like uh, we'll unbox it take a look what's inside see what you get and we'll hook it up and put it to the test and see what what, what uh, now what's let's like. take a look at what we get in the box. Alright, so we have the actual docking station itself. We'll wedge the shape thing here. Let's see what this box. Get more stuff. It's a driver disc and manual. Maybe else we need here? Nope, that's it. Put to the side. So we get in this box. Alright, we see we have our power supply. Our USB 3 cable and various adapters basically for different wall outlets. So, standard US over here. Uh, this one looks, um, I believe, this is Hong Kong or Asia in, in some areas, and I believe this is Europe. So, you have plenty of options. Alright, so let's take a look at what we get in here. So, alright, so you can see from here we have. USB 3 port, three additional USB 3 ports, that's where the power goes in. This is uh, where this cable, where, where this cable goes in. And so this is probably going to be the one that goes here into your Surface Pro 3 or your uh, laptop. And we have here the HDMI, display port, and the Ethernet, as well as a uh, see, combination headphone microphone port. And you have little rubber feet down here for, for slippage. So it doesn't slip. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna hook this guy up, and we'll see see what how it performs. So here I have my Surface Pro 3, uh, along with two Dell displays I have. Uh, that is a Dell HD display, uh, full 1920 by 1080, and then I have my older Dell uh, display here, which is a 1600 by 1200 display. Uh, I don't have a 4K display, so unfortunately I really can't test the 4K capabilities of the uh, docking station. But um, for, the for the most part, uh, this, is a, this is a typical setup I have at, at work. Uh, so until I get a 4K display, uh, it's nice to know that this thing will support one if I decide to in the future. Just a note about that though is that with the 4K display, you can't drive two monitors with it. Though. So this thing is going to be basically a single 4K display uh, along with uh, the Surface Pro 3 from my understanding. So, But in this situation, I can uh, with this thing hooked up, I'll be able to drive this display and those two at the same time. So uh, just a quick shout out about the, the device once again, uh, looking at it. Um, the you know, basically you see here the three USB ports and I have another USB port on the side. This one on the side actually has fast charging capability. Uh, for those that don't know, really what it is is, it is uh, with this port you, you can actually uh, it actually output more more amperage. So devices like uh, iPads or your cell phone might should charge faster with it. Uh, and um, then you have your HDMI, Display Port, and Ethernet. As a quick note. One thing nice about uh, this device uh, is that the power brick actually is, is uh, not too large, but once again, it's a power brick instead, as opposed to a typical device that might actually have a uh, you know kind of a power block like this. So the nice thing about that, real quickly, is that um, unlike this, you're kind of fighting for room on a power strip. That one, it goes into a just standard plug, and you don't have to just struggle for space. That's something nice, nice they they, they did on here. Uh, so let's um, hook this up. So here's the solitary USB 3 port that drives the whole thing and I'm going to basically plug this into my Surface Pro 3 into the only port that's available for it so if you heard the chime there it found it without a problem so the first things first 
is let's uh, hook up hook up uh, a Ethernet adapter. So here, so here is the my wired Ethernet. Tap that in, and in a moment, it should begin flashing. There we are. So the lights are flashing. So now I have uh, a wired Ethernet. So I'm not no longer using Wi-Fi, which is kind of nice because sometimes uh, some places don't have good Wi-Fi, and so. Having the having the connector is nice. Otherwise, I would have to be basically running around with one of these, uh, basically a uh, um, Ethernet uh, USB Ethernet adapter plugged into it, and well, with only one port, I'm kind of stuck, or I'd have to have another hub of some sort. Uh, but with this, I don't have to worry about it, and that still leaves me open four USB three ports. All right, so we start the show is we'll hook up some devices to uh, some displays to it now. So now. Uh, a note is there. This will you need to install the drivers for it. So there's a display link driver uh, it, that that you can get uh, either from the StarTech website. Uh, so if you put the model number of this device in, you'll get to a page where you get the dr device drivers, uh, or you can get it from the CD that that's uh, that comes in the box. Now I don't have a CD drive for this, so going to the website, I installed it already, and it's pretty much ready to go. So I'll plug this in. Now, the display I have here does not have, um, I don't have DisplayPort. So, I have a, uh, a, uh, HDMI, a um, DVI to uh, DisplayPort adapter, and it works just fine with this. So, let me get this cabling here. Okay, so, uh, let's see, so there you are. So, you can see, I have all three displays enabled now. Uh, now I previously set this up, uh, and you can see that it has found them, uh, so without a problem. And so now, you know what you can do is well. Let's just before we go diving into anything, I'll go to the the, the Windows screen resolution tool, and uh, to kind of show what the display settings look like. So I'll move this up so you can see a little bit better. Now it says one, two, and three. Now the funny goofy thing about it is if I do a identify. Um, this says it's three and that's two, so that's kind of swapped. I'm not sure exactly why that's the case, but it's swapped, but you just have to position it uh, the right way. Now, I have found that uh, the native Windows uh, resolution tool for, for, lining the, for lining the monitors is a little bit quirky. Uh, so the Display Link software actually uh, is, is in the, the taskbar, and with it you can actually tell it to uh, positionings of the different monitors. So there are ways of kind of you know fuddling around with it to get the way you want. But in this in this situation now I, I have the displays for the most part the way I, I like it to be. So now with it I can run say Visual Studio. I have over here I can kind of I can move over to the corner here, drop it on this display if I want to. I can uh, bring up say you know I can bring up Chrome. Over here, oh, actually, I can have it down here, for example, and then I can basically bring up the developer tools. And if I get the F12 key here, uh, there, there they are. I can then basically, if I find my mouse, move them over here, and I have it. And I can open other other things as well. So if I say if I have uh, other tools available, uh, I can have them on the screen. Uh, so if I have Sketchbook Pro drawing, I can draw over here, or I can move things over, have them on the display over here to do some work. So it's nice. Uh, so I now have three displays to 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 work on. Nice thing then is I can basically have room for other things. So I say like I have my thumb drives. Attach that one over there. No problem there. I can plug this one in over here. Or now, if I want, you know, because it's, because it has its own power, I don't have to worry about uh, about power hungry devices like say my uh, my my passport drive. I can basically plug it on the side over here. Ugh, squeeze over. And it finds a lot of problems. I have all my drives, so it's really kind of cool. So I have uh, I have all this room uh, on this on this one device, and I can get to everything I need without worrying about power. I have Ethernet capability. Uh, it's 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 quite handy to have. Now, granted, you might not have it on the side like I do, but it's nice if you can tuck it behind uh, for uh, for um, laptops that are other laptops, not just Surface Pro 3. It's basically you can. This has a little wedge shape here, so you can actually lie your laptop on top of it to prop it up. 
Um, in fact, I'm going to give it a shot uh, on my uh, MacBook Pro. So let's go take a look at uh, take a look uh, at the device on my MacBook Pro. So here we are. So now this is my 2014 Retina MacBook Pro, and so here's the docking station. Uh, same setup as before. Uh, my my same monitors, same ports I had before on my Surface Pro 3, and we'll just plug this in. Now, once again, I have the DisplayLink drivers installed on here. Uh, once again, I got them from the website and installed them. And I actually set this up previously, so now once I was plugging it in, give it a few moments for it to figure it out. And there it is. So my displays are now available. And now you can see here, uh, if you can see the flashing lights, I have lights for Ethernet. So I am now on a wired Ethernet connection. My displays are available, so I can you know, basically open browsers and kind of shuffle, shuffle them around. Different windows. Oh, my arrangement might be kind of weird. Let's just go with my arrangements. So let's go to system preferences, go to my displays, and uh, go to the arrangement. Uh, you can see, so I laid, laid them out this way. But uh, you can see this one's on the side. So it's above, so I can kind of move this over to the top here, lay it down. And there, there it is. So now with that enabled, I can now simply move things across. So move this across over here. And if I want to open, say, Safari. I can have this on the side here. There we go. Or I can say open something like Photoshop. Do some work here. Uh, I can do open off I guess off Word. Have that going over here. And I have Word documents on this side over here. And now, once again, if I can have access to my thumb drives, I can put my thumb drives in. There you go. Over here, and then over here. And let's see if you can see them. Hold on. Let's close that down. Let's close out Photoshop here. Uh, you can see that uh, my thumb drives all mounted without a problem. Oh, that's the installer, never mind. Pardon me. And I got my other drive here somewhere. There they are. So I can basically have access to my thumb drives, wired Ethernet multiple displays on this, on this one thing. And once again, uh, one thing I talked about before is that you can actually lay your device on top of this. So if I were to kind of move this over, I'll show you that basically with this here, you can kind of lay it on top and have it at a little more comfortable angle if you want to work at an angle. I don't know if you can see it a little bit better or not, but you know, with the plugged in, uh, the MacBook Pro Retina only has two, H two USB 3 ports and well, plugging this in, I have it kind of resting up here, a little bit more ergonomic angle if you so so are inclined to use it that way. And I have access to multiple monitors, more ports, and wired Ethernet. So there you have it. A look at StarTex 4K display USB 3 docking station. If you have any questions about this thing, uh, something I didn't do or show, you know, feel, please feel free to send me some email, feedback, or you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.